Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing OOPS concept in Python. Till now we have discussed inheritance, right? Now the remaining are basically, and we have discussed classes and objects as well. The remaining are abstraction, encapsulation and polymorphism, right? Although in the previous video we have seen about, you know, some modules, what are what is a module and why we are going to use module in your program right with the help of a project that is quiz game right but now from this video we are going to start again the oops concept the next is abstraction inheritance we have discussed now we will discussing in this video abstraction it is one of the most important you can see oops concept or the pillar of object oriented programming right and the most confusing topic i guess students generally confused in abstraction and encapsulation right so i'll try my best to you know discuss abstraction in detail right in a clear way fine so we'll just discuss what is abstraction in this video fine see now i don't know maybe you are watching this video on your laptop or on your mobile phone right now how you search for this video you just open maybe the youtube then you search like maybe what is abstraction in python and there are many videos in front of you just click on one video and that video will be played on your screen right that is all you know but you don't know what is going on behind the scene how we are going to maybe you know how we are going to uh, how you are able to type like uh, the alphabets like and how these alphabets are to be shown on your screen on the search bar like what is WHAT what is abstraction you are typing with a keyboard or your keypad and these alphabets are shown in the search bar when you click on the search then you will get the you are getting the results of these videos right abstraction videos now you don't know how this is going to be happening behind the scene from where you are getting this video obviously when someone is uploading the video then that video would be stored somewhere in a database on server and from those servers you are connecting you are going to connect your pc or your laptop or your mobile phone to that server and from that server you are fetching that video right and that is being displayed on your screen you don't know with the help of which protocol maybe http or ftp or i don't know any other protocol right you just know you are just typing with the help of keypad or keyboard and you just click on the search button and video is the search result are on your screen and when you click on that video it would be just played on your screen that's it you don't know the internal working how you are getting that video on your phone on, on your pc on your laptop right so that is what an abstraction you're not able to see the internal uh, implementation or internal details or in the internal working or the behind the scene working you just see the results that's it and which actually matters to us the result only we are not you know concerned about the internal working maybe few of you are concerned about that thing but many of us are not concerned about the how this is going to be working we just concerned about the results that's it abstraction in a similar way just show the functionalities anything holds hiding the internal detail or the implementation detail that are not you can say necessary to know to the user simply that is abstraction everywhere we see abstraction like we are example of abstraction like a skin this layer is an abstraction under the skin we have like vein how the blood is going to flow the muscles and everything we don't know anything how the lungs are working how the lungs are working how the heart is working and we don't know anything right so the skin is a layer of abstraction for us the internal detail is hidden we just know the functionality is what a person can do what we can do we can see we can write we can walk we can sleep we can eat but how right how we are going to you know hold that marker maybe when i'm holding this marker i'm writing something like this thing then some signal is passing through some veins or i don't know arteries to my brain and then my brain is going to instruct my hand or something like this but that process we don't know how this is going to happen we just know the functionality is that we can write we can walk we can talk we can like eat sleep see or 
this kind of thing right so this is what abstraction so everything in real world is also having some kind of abstraction and there are level of abstraction like higher level higher level of abstraction lower level of abstraction like this levels of abstraction when you go to the higher level of abstraction then you concern about the larger piece of data not the much detailed things right like if i ask just give me the highlights if someone say just give me the highlights or just give me the minutes of the meeting or just give me the facts please means i'm just interested in an abstraction these are just abstraction an abstracted way of information i'm not asking for the detailed information just the highlights just the facts just the minutes of meetings maybe the meeting is for one hour but there are five topics mainly topics that has been discussed in that meeting i just i just want to you know i just want to ask those five topics not what has been discussed under these topics in that one hour session just give me those five points that's it so this is what abstraction you are asking for abstractions if you have seen the research paper then at first in this search where we are having abstract means that is going to tell you that paragraph is going to tell you an abstraction like what is going to be in this research paper just the main ideas or the main thing what they are going to discuss in this research paper what this research paper is all about right so that is abstraction i hope you got this so you you are you know you get this uh, type of uh, you can say definition everywhere like abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation detail from the user right or the unnecessary detail from the user or the extra detail from the user the internal detail from the user only showing the essential features to the user that's it that is abstraction right that is one you can say definition of abstraction right or we can say like abstraction is also a generalization or generalizing something to hide the complex logic right generalization means like we a human being we are able to eat or we are able to we can sleep we can eat we have like two hands two legs so whether it's a male or a female or a child or a you can say a senior citizen or maybe we can say it's a student or a employee everyone is having like obviously two hands two legs everyone can eat everyone can sleep so these are generalization or these are you can say uh, generalized things that he or she can do any male or female or child or senior citizen can do right so in programming also if you want to represent this kind of thing then we can make a class person and here in this <coughs> we can abstraction we can uh, you know achieve abstraction with the help of abstract classes and abstract methods right what are abstract classes and methods and how we are going to achieve abstraction that we'll see in next video but here <coughs> we can define like the number of number of legs number of eyes number of hands like this and every other class which is going to inherit this class definitely obviously or like some functions like eat sleep will have these functions like eat and sleep but maybe they have their own definition of these functions eat eat is what maybe eating habit or eating process of every person is different like i want to i would like to eat with knives or that fork and spoons maybe someone is interested in just eating with hands only that is also fine so everyone is having their own process of eating but eat that is for sure that is for everything that is a you can say generalized thing for every person or every human being right like let's take one more example uh if you are going to uh make any app develop any app so every app is going to have some uh, you can say general features like the brightness feature or the every app is going to send notification right those features every app 
any app in your phone you have you can you know, the, the brightness feature or you can say that notification feature right so that is what generalized thing so if i'm going to make my app like for jenny's lectures obviously that also have that send notification feature right if you are developing any other app maybe like uh, related to any image or you can say upgrade your image or edit image these kind of things like picasa and anything those will also have that feature that notification feature send notification and all right so this is what this we can achieve with the help of abstract classes right but the, how we are going to achieve that thing that i'll show you in the next video just the ways i just want to tell you abstraction we can also say in another term like it is generalizing things or we can say abstraction as a process of generalizing and something just to hide the complex detail now how to hide those details abstraction is just a thought process it works at design level design level not at actual implementation level that coding level no so you can say it's just a process of identifying which features are to be hidden from the user and which features are to be shown to the user you just have to identify but actual how we are going to hide that is a different thing with the help of encapsulation we will do that, that that thing right so actual you are when you are going to hide that is a different concept concept but in abstraction you just have to identify what you need to hide from the user and what you need to show to the user right if you are working on any project or any app or something like this and you have to add like student name and data uh, roll number right so this is some kind of interface would be shown like student name like i am having i am just working on any project like maybe student management system so i have to add student detail so you i'll just show student name if it would be entered roll number would be entered i just have to click on the add button and in the database that student would be added right now that's it this is the interface that would be shown to the student or to me or the user who is going to use the student management system this uh, project right now add means obviously when you are going to click on add then we will check like maybe in student name you will enter 1 2 3 in roll number you will, i am i'm going to enter enter jenny so this is not valid na student name should be jenny and roll number should be 1 2 3 or this kind of thing right obviously anyone can tell that this is invalid roll number cannot be like jenny it can be like jenny 1 2 3 it can be combination of like alphabet and uh, uh, those uh, digits but only letters or only alphabet that is not allowed in roll number right so obviously when you are going to add then validate or you have to check if the entry is correct or not according to the rules are or not right and then create a database object and then add to this database but this validate and create a db object that would be obviously hidden from the user right we are not going to show in the interface like validate and uh, like create a db connection right and you have to enter you have to click on validate as well as well as create db and then you will have to add add and you have to click on the add then that student would be added to this no this a simple interface would be shown to the user because these are extra details these are internal details so these should be hidden from the user right we have identified these two functions should be hidden from the user right so these are hidden from the user and only the essential information to be shown to the user is just the add button right so this is what abstraction right now how we are going to hide these things that comes under encapsulation we have some like those public private access specifier with the help of those we can hide the information or the data right so i hope you got what is abstraction right this is the thought process it works at design level right it basically uh, you know uh, concern about the external lookout the interface the external look 
right that is abstraction so every big project or software definitely going to obviously implement these features abstraction definitely definitely if it is a small project then maybe there would be no abstraction but if it is a big project then definitely there would be abstraction that thing like the internal working the implementation detail the extra thing like this that would be done from the user and user would be shown like simple thing the essential detail only would be shown to the user right and actual hiding is to be done with the help of encapsulation or with the help of access specifier that is different thing abstraction is just to identify which is to be hidden and which feature or which detail to be shown to the user okay so i hope you got the basic idea about abstraction if not you can just let me know in comment section maybe we can make another video with the help of some different examples right okay now in the next video we will see abstract classes and abstract methods so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care